man. That's for you. What's black and red? He goes. That's right. It's the black and red Suzuki. Yeah, it says Suzuki, yo. It says Suzuki, yo. It says Suzuki, yo. Yeah, that thing's slow as hell. What's that? It messes their hair up. The ladies can't see them when they ride by, so they can, you know, be looking cool on their bike. Check it out. That's where I did the donut action on the YZ, baby. <laughs> Look at that perfect donut. Amazing. Hey, guys. But anyways, guys, whoa. <laughs> where did this dog come from, man? You don't like bikers. All right. Hey, can you get... <laughs> Anyways, top five dumbest things said by motorcycle riders. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. On this cold day, these heated gloves come in real handy. These are battery powered heated gloves. Uh, my airbag vest ultralight carbon fiber helmet I always include links to all my gear in the description and comment section of my video yeah <laughs> I'm telling you guys it's like 40 degrees out here it's freezing man but this Dionysia winter jacket I got on is keeping me nice and warm toasty the number one thing that bikers like to whine about the most that I always hear complaints about is about wearing a helmet <laughs> and we still have bikers out here complaining about wearing a helmet so they don't wear it because it messes their hair up the ladies can't see them when they ride by so they can you know be looking cool on their bike and uh or it's just it's too hot outside i want you guys to visit a nursing home and visit the young bikers that are in there slobbering on themselves because they didn't want to mess their hair up you know they didn't want to be too hot <laughs> but they had a real effed up day and busted their head and now they don't have their brains all messed up they got brain damage and they're relegated to a nursing home for the rest of their life at a young age because the helmet just wasn't cool for them it wasn't uh, it's just too uncomfortable to wear <laughs> well how uncomfortable are they right now in that nursing home you know what i'm saying so i don't want to hear no excuses you put that lid on that brings me to number two thing that people whine about and this is fitting seeing that i'm on the highway Woo! oh man this thing's a beast <laughs> Woo! it's a prayer it's a beast they complain about the wind they say they don't like these uh, these Street Fighter type of bikes because it doesn't have any wind protection. Uh, and they whine about the wind. Oh, it fatigues me. Oh, man, get out of here. <laughs> I love the wind. <laughs> it wakes my soul up. I love feeling that wind blast on me, man. And, uh, dude. If you can't take the wind, then you need to take your pansy self back in your car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where you can look good for the ladies. You don't have to wear a helmet. Ride around looking cool in your Corvette doing street legal speeds. <laughs> Number three thing that people like to whine, bikers like to whine about, seat height. I get so sick of people, bikers, talking about seat height. When a new motorcycle comes out, that's the first thing a lot of short riders ask. How tall is the bike? Because, oh man, it's too tall. You know, I got to stick with the lower seat height. Dude, I don't want to hear that anymore. And I don't want to hear any of you riders out there complaining about you won't ride a dirt bike because the seat height is too high and you're too short. I don't care if you're vertically challenged. You know what I'm saying? What you need to do is you need to put your foot down, one foot, all you need is one foot to put down to uh, as a kickstand. That's all you need to do. Pretty much everybody can do that unless you're a midget. And I've seen midgets on full-size bikes out there, guys. <laughs> so I don't wanna hear no excuse. 
there's no reason why you should be worrying about seat height <laughs> number four thing that people like to complain about is it's too cold outside to ride or it's too hot dude right now it's like 38 degrees right now man <laughs> and i'm out here riding i ride year round here in ohio there's no excuse i actually like riding in cold weather because you put all all the gear you can control your heat you can wear heated gear like these heated gloves that i've had which i have a link to in the description and comment section of this video along with all my other gear you can wear heated other heated gear too be nice and toasty out here on these cold days and it works out just perfect and for those of you guys complaining about it's too hot outside you don't want to wear your leathers and that's another reason why you don't want to wear your gear because it's too hot well i tell you, you go down and mess your uh scrape your skin up here on the uh the cement you wish you had on some leathers to set you up for a real effed up day <laughs> yeah let me hold off on getting some gas i want to finish this video man we got to talk about these whiny bikers out here <laughs> and uh whoo i love the sound of this bike sounds like a moto gp bike as long as it's at least 35 degrees out i'm good as long as it the weather doesn't support ice i'm good i'll be out here riding and as far as hot weather to me it can never be too hot as long as you have you make sure you have a water bladder but also it depends on the gear you're wearing wear a ce armor jacket uh that i have i have a link to in the description and comment section of this video I, pretty much anybody can afford it. it's like 50 bucks or something like that lightweight it's got the c armor gear all over back protection flows a ton of air i wear that that's what you see me wearing in the summertime sometimes i put a dirt bike jersey over it uh, but that's what i'm wearing most of the time man and uh you know if it's over like 100 degrees or something i know you guys out in arizona you know uh, you know, get a, some super hot weather if it's ridiculously hot i can understand man because you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to uh overheat on your bike man it could set you up for a real effed up day uh but like i said make sure you got that water bladder like i have here got a link to it uh, on my website cyclecruiser.com with all my other gear and uh what brings me to number five is a lot of bikers out here whine about uh other you know harley davidson riders sport bike riders whining about harley davidson riders and harley davidson riders whining about sport bike riders i hate to hear it i'm so sick of it i don't know what to do because we're all brothers and sisters of two wheels you know what i'm saying the harley davidson riders are, are busy whining about sport bike riders blowing by them <laughs> I had to do that, man. That's for you. What's black and red? He goes. That's right. It's the black and red Suzuki passing your. And uh, you know they call them all kinds of names. And then you got the sport bike riders that are whining about the uh, Harley Davidson riders because their bikes are too. They say their bikes are too loud or they're revving it all the time. Dude, we all rev our bikes. <laughs> I've done that myself. I've been a <laughs> We enjoy the sound of our bikes. But we got to stop this uh, back and forth. You know what I'm saying? We're all brothers and sisters of two wheels. Like I said, guys. It's absolutely uh, ridiculous that you guys whine about that stupid nonsense and divide you know divide us bikers you know all it, all that matters is that you're riding on two wheels that's it as long as you're riding out here and that's what i'm doing on this nice and crispy cold day it feels real good as long as i got my heated battery powered heated gloves on <laughs> i'm feeling real good loving it out here I wish we had a little sun out here in Ohio, though. <laughs> uh, but that's what we get. The sun disappears here uh, come come uh, winter time. <laughs> we'll see it maybe in the springtime. But anyways, guys, leave a comment. And let's talk about it, guys. What else do bikers whine about? Or tell me 
why you don't like the points that I made or whatever. Come on, let's discuss. That's why I do these videos. I enjoy conversing with you guys in the comments. Uh, but I got to get some gas because this thing eats gas. I get like 26 miles per gallon on this bike. <laughs> but anyway, deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.